So today we're gonna to be covering something that I've really only talked about once before, and that is recovering documents. More specifically though, today I'm gonna to be talking about and showing you how to recover your lost or unsaved Excel files on a Windows PC or laptop. So let's get started. So I've talked about this before in my recovering Word documents video that I made a little while back, but essentially there is a lot of information out there on how to recover Word documents, Excel files, all kinds of these broad spectrum office documents. And they're so small by comparison of something like a photo or a video file, for example. So there's a lot out there in terms of means to actually recover something like this. But I've decided that I didn't want to exhaust you with all of the possible available methods out there, which I'm sure a few of them you've already tried. I am, however, going to be going over two main methods that are the most popular and the most comprehensively complete as far as getting both an unsaved and a completely lost Excel file back into your hands. Okay, so let's jump right into method and scenario number one, which is losing your Excel file without saving. So have you ever had a computer crash? Have you ever had a software freeze? Things just stop working and essentially force you to quit without saving. And that's a real bummer. But lucky for us, there's a feature built right into Excel called Auto Recover that we can essentially use to save ourselves some progress that we may have lost when we had to shut down or close without saving. Now, the one caveat with this is that it had to have been enabled before you began work on your Excel document, or at least before you lost your progress. Now, if you've just recently installed Excel, then it will already likely been enabled. But if you just want to check to be sure that this method will actually work for you, then here's how you can check to make sure that auto recover was enabled. Simply open Excel and click file, hit options, and then under save, you should see a check mark next to the auto recover box if it has been enabled. Now, if auto recover was enabled on your version of Excel, then here's what you can do to recover your unsaved file and get all that progress back. So the good thing is that Excel makes this incredibly easy. If you've accidentally closed Excel or had it crash, then simply open it again, select your workbook, and then select the most recent auto recover save from the left hand side, which will restore that version of the document inside of Excel. Now, something else that you can do is you can directly check the auto recover folder itself to check for those .xl files, which are Excel's backup recovery files that you may be missing from that folder if that initial method didn't work for you. So here's how you can do that. In Excel, click on File, and then Options. Click on Save on the left, and that will display your Excel workbooks that are being saved. Now the Auto Recover file locations are where your Auto Recovered files are being saved. And if Auto Recover was enabled, then you can go to that folder and search for your lost file by name. Now it may have been generically renamed, so you're going to want to check all of the files for the one that you want. So that method is great, and it uses an official feature built right into Excel that's made to safeguard against issues just like this. But it really is the lesser of two evils, right? Like what if you completely delete the file entirely and you need to get that entire file back? Well, that's where scenario and method number two comes in, and that is using data recovery software to get our Excel file back in our hands and ready to use. So something that's cool about file recovery software is that it uses file deletion and the way it works on Windows to our advantage. See, when you delete a file, it's not actually gone. Rather, it's hidden by the computer as available space waiting to be overwritten by another file that comes on down the line. It could be another Excel file, could be a photo, could be anything. But in order to have the best chances of recovery, we need to act quickly. Again, we're trying to avoid overwriting those files and completely deleting them forever. And so if we act quickly and minimize the use of our PC in the meantime, that will give us the best chances of not overwriting the file and thus the best chances of getting it back. So now on to software. Now, if you're looking at all the options out there, which there are a lot of them, you're likely feeling a bit overwhelmed. You need to find one that strikes the right balance between power, versatility, ease of use, and simplicity. And in my opinion, there's really only one that fits the bill. Disk Drill is one of the most powerful pieces of file recovery and file management software in the industry. On top of being feature packed, it also supports a wide array of file types and drive types. So whether or not you're trying to recover from your internal drive or from an external USB device, and whether or not you're trying to recover just a basic Excel file or something more advanced than that, Disk Drill is right there with you and has you covered. It puts all the power you need right at your fingertips 
and it can be downloaded for free from the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and download Disk Drill and get started. So once you've downloaded and completed the installation for Disk Drill, go ahead and open it up. Once you open Disk Drill, you'll be brought to the main page, which is the data recovery panel. And in the center, you'll see what's called the disk list, which lists all of the drives that are connected to your PC. So at this point, if you have not connected the drive that you want to scan to your computer, if it's not already connected, then go ahead and do so now. And once you've done so, it will appear in the disk list in the center here. At which point, all you need to do is select the drive, choose your scan method, and click search for lost data. All right, so I've just started my scan and the drive isn't too big, so it won't take too long to complete. But depending on how big your drive is, that will take some time. So I'm going to wait for it to finish and I'll catch up to you then. All right, so the scan has finished. And once it has finished, you can go up to this blue button right here to review all the items that were found during the scan. Now, since we are looking for Excel files, we can select the documents category on the left hand side, which will show us all of the document files that were found during the scan. Now, once you find the files that you're looking for, Go ahead and put a check mark next to them. Go down, click recover, and choose your save location. Now something important here is that you need to make sure you do not save the files to the same location you're trying to recover from. So if you're trying to recover from a USB device like I am, then saving to your desktop would probably be a better idea. So I'm gonna save my files to my desktop and click OK. And here they are, all set, intact, and ready to go. I can load them up in Excel. And it's just like they never left. And that's it. That is how you recover your lost Excel documents on a PC or Windows laptop. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed, liked, and commented this video. I always enjoy reading your comments on every single video. But that's going to be it for today. My name is Andrew. And until next time, thank you for watching.